Uh, Pranay Anand, uh, you're the Vice President of Technology for NTT. You might say that job a bit better than I do, but thanks for coming on MyScreen TV. My absolute pleasure. Uh, and look, thanks for being at Catalyst Forums uh, 2023 here in Bangkok. Well, exciting times. Never a better time to, you know, pop over, learn a bit, validate what you think you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, anticipate on how you can best serve not just the industry, but you know, your clients and your people. We, we covered off a little bit about your role. You've got sort of four, four streams to your role. Maybe just uh, introduce us to what you actually do with NTT because that might guide us into just discussing uh, business generally in, in Asia Pacific. Look, I, I think I have one of the best jobs. Um, for me, my role encompasses um, how do I solve client problems uh, from the outside in and then uh, link it back to you know all everything I have in my organization to be able to put our best foot forward. Uh, what that means is um, the innovation that we lead uh, falls under my remit and how do I productize that. Uh, so all that leads into all architectures that points into a function that I also drive. Uh, and then I provide the go-to-market functions around that and that's my pre-sales capability, my sales specialists and, and the wider organization yep. to take care of you know our customers life cycle. Maybe explain NTT what 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 would be your core business uh, your, the professional services side of the business as well but more on the IT side what, what would be say your core business? Yeah, look um, I mean we are a full stack IT organization and the coming together of NTT data um, so we're a full stack provider. What I mean by that is um, we have significant investments in uh, uh, network and that's uh, some RIN cables and heavy assets, data yeah. centers. So a lot of the hyperscalers would be sitting in my our data centers. Uh, that coupled with a, a very strong services business around um, system integration and then application and infrastructure managed services has been our forte. We have now merged with uh, NTT Data, which yeah. then brings a, the application and verticalized approach to our business. So when you look at you know, anybody's uh, transformation from an IT landscape, uh, we just about cover the full spectrum. We are a services organization, uh, and we you know, work with partners and vendors to fulfill our client requirements. And how's business generally? Uh, you know, I think some takeaways out of the catalyst and sort of predictions are it's certainly from a service and storage viewpoint as per normal it's it's still growing and and about to exponentially grow potentially uh, and the buzzwords here are gen ai but it's gone slightly beyond the buzzword mm -hmm. uh, there's some real prospects here uh, for the industry your general take on what you're seeing and and hearing, I suppose, here at Catalyst as to AI and, and what do you expect uh, into 2024? Yeah, look, I think uh, the opportunities are immense. I mean, AI isn't new. Uh, it's been there for the longest time. I think the ability for us now to process data at a significant volume at a fraction of the time now gives us the opportunity to dream the art of the possible. Yeah. So it's about how do we solve uh, you know, issues, uh, use cases, and start off with picking, you know, repeatable, mundane challenges, then focusing on solving, you know, world hunger and problems, uh, I think is where the key to success will be. So massive opportunities on riding on this front, but that means um, massive opportunities in, you know, data and, and how you classify and, and the whole science around that. But you can't do any of that if you don't get your plumbing right. So yeah. the networks that you have need to be reconfigured and redesigned. And, um, you know, the scary word is, you know, am I secure? Will this, uh, you know, where will this go? So cyber security at the forefront of all of that. But I think we also have a social responsibility of not just looking at those aspects, but also from a sustainability angle. Yeah. Uh, and what does it mean in, in making sure things are, uh, you know, uh, looked at that way? How do you do your VP role uh, and innovations is one of your gambits as well. How do you work with NTT globally? Do you all meet uh, at a VP level or are you following a, 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 mm -hmm. a company strategy? How, how are you sort of managing this? So all of the above. Um, we meet as a global organization, the leaders. We have a footprint as to where we're going to go. We've got a 10-step map. You can you can uh, assume a Japanese organization that's 150 years old. <laughs> they already have a 10-year plan. <laughs> and it. it's, it's how well you execute yeah. that. We Our best kept secret is we spend about $3.6 billion a year in R&D. Uh, and on the back of that, we've also created a venture fund uh, that uh, invest in early yes. startups uh, because we know we can't solve every problem ourselves there. 
a lot of smart kids out there, a lot of smart organizations being born. And a lot of our work is going on and not just what we develop, but also how we can bring the best uh, out of the young minds that are out there. And that's how we take uh, that into, uh, you know, to, to our clients. So it's about, you know, taking an innovation first approach, um, validating it from an outside in, testing it with few clients. Yeah. And then, you know, small incremental wins that then become, uh, you know, mainstream and main scale. Um, so we are connected at a global level from an R&D, uh, from a strategy, from a planning perspective. Uh, it's a pretty immaculate process. It's about staying true to the cause and making sure you don't get distracted. And how excited then are you for 2024? And even some of the predictions here are out to 2026, the next three years. Um, yeah, how, how, how do you see it? I mean, I, I, I would call someone like you, someone with a real job in, in a way. How do you see it over the next couple of years? Just, you know, hang on and uh, it's going to be a wild ride? Or do you think it's going to be fast but still incremental and under s some degree of control? Look, I think, I think uh, the thing that you've got to balance uh, the next few years is where you hunker down and see growth, or where your defence strategy, but the key is that what do you let go? Yeah. Right? You can't be all things equal uh, in an industry like this. I think the next, uh, you know, 24 to 26, um, you know, it's no better place to be. I think uh, this industry is in for a wild ride. And I think the ones that uh, actually uh, really identify their calling will actually really make it. Um, Cybersecurity is going to be an area that's going to be redefined with, with quantum computing and, and yeah. cryptology. Uh, the whole industry will be reset and things are going to be rewritten. Uh, we've got to design networks again. Um, you know, there's growth galore everywhere. I think the challenge for us, uh, despite the geopolitical crisis yeah. uh, is a, and other headwinds that you see from an economic turn point, um, I would advise that, you know, you really find your niche, um, you stick to it, uh, but make decisions based on data from an outside in, validate, uh, go at it. Uh, you're bound to get some right, some wrong uh, and learn from it. Maybe the last one, I've always got I've got a hundred questions coming through, is workforce development for you, is that a challenge for NTT uh, in the region, given given the, the, the pace of growth, I suppose? Oh, absolutely. I mean, for me, uh, I always say to our people and, and outside the outside world that I believe the portfolio, we have the portfolio, we have access to the clients, uh, we have the investments we need. Unfortunately, our weakest link has become, you know, the reliability of uh, individuals. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the, the global pandemic didn't help it. Uh, I think there's been a significant shift in what people class as uh, what's important to them now. The opportunity, again, with things like Gen AI and the opportunities around being able to assist and augment, uh, you know, the human intelligence uh, is probably going to be the silver lining. We've got to get that right. Um, we, as an organization, had to relaunch our employee value proposition, yeah. where we put the emphasis purely on an individual and what that means for the person, uh, the individual. Um, and I think that's going to continue to be a challenge. Um, and we just got to keep keep developing, keep looking for talent uh, internally and, and create a new way of creating sustainable uh, hiring, mentoring and the likes, because, uh, I mean, they're few and far to, to go around. It's, yeah. a, it's a vicious cycle out there. But I think... Um, do the do the small things right, uh, and for me, it's about investing not just only in the people, but showing them a path forward. And hence, why an innovation by design approach uh, in building a business is is key. And uh, for if you go and link up with new hires that we get, it's no longer about how much you pay me. It's not longer about the job. It's about hey, it's the role I'm in, making a difference, making a difference to the people, to the societies, and more importantly do I leave a legacy behind? And I think that's a social responsibility we all have. Nice. Well, I'm sure if they're working with NTT, uh, they're halfway there already. You're based in Singapore. I am indeed, yeah. yes. Okay. Well, and, I, and, and you're the VP. What, what's your proper job title again? Uh, so I'm the Vice President of uh, Technology Solutions uh, at NTT. Got uh, it. So it encompasses a whole raft of things. All I can tell you is there are no dull days. <laughs> and. Uh, you know, I think uh, I'm here for the long haul and, uh, you know, I look forward to unpacking the trends into reality. Right. So, it's Pranay? Pranay. So, Pranay, um, and, uh, thank you so much for joining us today on, on My Security TV. My pleasure. Enjoy the best, uh, best of Bangkok and the rest of Canalys. Cheers. Cheers, mate.